Hello crafties, welcome to another video. My name is Infinity and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to crochet the sand stitch. It is super easy, it's beginner friendly, and all you need to know is chaining and single crochet. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right into the tutorial. Okay, so this stitch is, like I said, it's a really simple stitch and it looks great whether you work it in one singular color or whether you work it in multiple colors. For today's tutorial, I will be working in multiple colors, uh, more specifically two colors. So I'm going to grab my darker color first and I'm going to start off with a slip knot. Now this stitch is made up in multiples of two. So... Let me see, I think I did 12 for my swatch, so maybe I'll do 10 this time. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, so now what we want to do is we are going to single crochet in the second chain from our hook. So we're going to yarn over, single crochet, chain one, you're going to skip the next stitch, and we're going to single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, chain one. the single crochet into the next stitch. All right. So that's going to be our pattern. Chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet into the stitch after the one you single crochet. If you're doing a longer, whoops, if you're doing a longer project, feel free to pause the video and catch up to me when you are ready to move on to row two. I'm now at my last chain, my last two chains, so I skipped the one and I'm single crocheting into the very last one. Alright, super easy, right? So now on to row two, what I actually want to do is change my color. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. If you don't know how to change color, I do have a tutorial back on my channel which demonstrates how to color change with different stitch heights. Alright, so then I am going to chain two. Now some people will chain differently, but I like to chain two. One for turning and then one for the... um skipped stitch that we're going to do. So now that we are on to the next row, what we're going to be doing is single crocheting into that chain space. And then we are going to chain one, skip the next stitch and work into the next chain space with a single crochet. And we are going to chain one, skip the next actual stitch, and we are going to insert into that chain one space and make a single crochet. And this is actually the repeat for all rows that you're going to do. Easy enough, right? Chain one, and now we're going to work into that last little chain space from the previous row. And this is it so far. So now I'm going to move on to row three. Row three, I'm still going to chain two. Turn my work. And I'm going to skip this first stitch and work into that first chain space instead with a single crochet. Chain one. Single crochet into the next chain space. It's also up to you to change your color every single row. With this stitch, I like to work two rows and then change color so my strings are all on one side. That makes things nice and uniform, at least for me. Chain one. 
and we're going to come over here and work in that chain one from the previous row. I'm not going to complete that single crochet because I want to change my colors again. So I'm going to grab my snips and I am going to go ahead and attach my blue yarn again. Now you can carry your colors over again if that's something that's um, new to you. I have a tutorial for that back on my channel. But you could definitely carry your colors. I just kind of don't. <laughs> Especially when they vary like this. Okay, so now I'm going to chain two again. And I'm going to repeat the pattern from the previous row. Single crochet in the chain space. Chain one. Skip the next stitch and work into the next chain space available. Single crochet. I'm going to chain one. Skip the next stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. Alright. So this has been the sand stitch. I hope today's tutorial was helpful for you guys. If so, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below letting me know how I did or what other kinds of tutorials you would like to see in the future. Don't forget to check out my other social media pages. I am on pretty much everything except for Snapchat. I am also on Etsy with a pattern store and I am on Teespring with a merch shop. So until next time guys, happy making.